Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna show you how to decompile uh, C Sharp or actually any .NET uh, program that you may need to see the source of. The, the compiler which will I use is jetbrains.peak. This is one of the best decompilers uh, I have seen. So go to jetbrains.com slash decompiler slash I'll put a link in the description. Download it and install it. I already downloaded it and installed it. So I'm just going to show you the mine interface. This is it. When you load your um, exe, it will be here and here will be the source code. First of all, let's make something so we can decompile it. But uh, uh, the point of this is that you can decompile any .NET uh, program. Let's say it will be a console application. Something simple like uh, outputting the numbers from 1 to 10 or something. So this is the source. This is what we uh, actually are looking for. If you don't have the source of the program and it's uh, made with uh, any .NET um, framework, you can decompile it. This is it. Let's start it. And it was so fast, we didn't actually solve the result. Uh, after the loop, let's make read so it can pause the console and see the output. This is the output. We close that. Go to jetbrains.peak and find the assembly which we just made. As you can see, I tried here some of the uh, .NET programs which I found to check if uh, I can see their source. Yes, I can. This is uh, the launcher for, uh, I don't know, Molten Wall? Yeah, I think it's Molten Wall. We can decompile that to see the source code and do whatever we want with it. Uh, but now we must we want to decompile our application so to see how things are done there it is this is uh, the project folder the compiled assembly is in B, bin the book this is our compiled exe let's go to jetbrains and what our assembly. So, if you try to decompile any other than .NET uh, assembly, uh, you will see it that it's not supported here. Uh, you can see what framework is targeting, the architecture, and the version of the program. If we want any other assembly uh, that is not .NET um, compiled it won't it won't show the source of course uh, let's try with um, well that exe here it is you can see that it's not supported because wow wow is written on <laughs> C or C++ C++ of course so after loading our uh, .NET assembly you can see it here and you can start browsing the code. This is uh, the project, console application one. This is the program. This is our main class. Double click on that. And you can see all of the code which is in it. As you can see, 
in the, the Visual Studio, it is absolutely the same code. The best thing of um, JetBrains.peak is that uh, you can actually uh, create a solution of the decompiled um, assembly and uh, load it in Visual Studio. This is very, very handy. You don't need to uh, copy paste the separated uh, classes and code to build the solution or the program. You can just uh, export the project, which is very handy. Export to project, yeah, yes. Uh, here you say the destination folder, let's say on the desktop, uh, create new folder, console app decompiled, select that folder, console application one, blah, 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 and open the project if you want uh, in Visual Studio. Export that, wait a little bit, Visual Studio is loading, but on, on my another monitor, I will bring it just right up. And this is it. This is the exported uh, solution from JetBrains.peak, as you can see. Uh, and that's it. You can decompile almost everything that is made with .NET framework. Sometimes uh, the, the assembly, the source code, is obscured. I can't pronounce the word. The word uh, that means that some of the functions and variable names are with different names, so they can uh, they want the they want they the programmers which made their programs want to protect their code in some kind of and they want they use uh, obscured code uh, this will be shown in another video how to unobscure the code and see again uh, the source code which they made that's it for now have fun